Okay, we're not done with this place yet, because remember what was going on back here? <sighs> Another one? Investigate the strange light in the break room. <sighs> oh. We have level 2 legally now. Thanks to Ati. What if by janitor, they really just mean a person who cleans up all the mess? Because that's kind of what I'm doing right now, right? Maybe being a janitor and the director is kind of similar. Oh. They have kids here? Threshold kids. Hey, Meg! What are you trying? I'm trying a dog! I'm drawing the pyramid. The what? The pyramid. Uh. Uh. What's a pyramid? The black pyramid. It's in the astral plane. Airplane? Astral plane. It's big, white, and empty. Or is it? It's a weird, crazy alien dimension. The white goes on forever. You can get lost in all that white and never find your way back home. What is my home? Okay. I'm always a little bit overwhelmed whenever we see one of these recordings. So the astral plane is the... Um, it's the place that we're at right before we get a new ability. Anyway, what was this? There's nothing visible here. Merry go around horse object of power. Oh, right there. Oh, God. Oh, this place makes me nauseous. <laughs> I was sweating the whole time. Right before we fell down, I was like breaking out in cold sweat. <sighs> An object of power. How do you think it got down here? Carousel horse. Why is kid stuff always so creepy? It's not gonna do anything? There's no challenge here. Oh god. Apparently I need to learn to evade. Oh, okay. Hold on. If I accidentally die here, my challenge is gonna be stopped, so I gotta be careful. Ooh! Ah! Can we use this ability to avoid... Oh god. Enemies and bullets? This guy right here. What the heck? 
He might be a little bit too far away for me to get, though. <sighs> feel like I'm gonna die if I try to... Oh, wow. Ah! Whoops. The keys are a bit to press. Gold enemies are immune to Jesse's attacks. Control to avoid their attacks. Oh, okay. That's great. <laughs> Oh, let's see the hairs keep up with me now. Oh, wonderful. Hmm. Yeah, this is quite a combination to press on the keyboard. I might have to rebind it later on, but for now, I think I'll be okay. Cool, though. We got another new skill. Hidden location discovered. Where are we now? Oh, we're back in that same room, but the, the crack in the... Oh. One lonely queen of hearts. Oh, wait, what? Was that hole there before? Okay, whatever. Probably time to get going, I guess. Which is probably beyond Ati's office. There was a... There was a door here. Okay. Alright. Okay, so NSC power plant is over there with the coolant pumps and all. This side... Opens the way back up to... Where we were. Right, so it's more of a quick way to just access the place. Cool. Whoa. Okay, so what happens again if that thing blows up? Power. Explosion. Too much. Director's duty. Keep the lights on. See, that sounds more like janitorial duty, doesn't it? Maybe it's the same thing. Northmoor. I'll look at that once we get down here. What was that? We got more mods. Health, recovery, energy. Weapon mods. Recoil. No, I'm happy with what I have right now. Case files. Hotline. Object should be inaccessible for use except to the director. Object is a 1960s era red bake light telephone. The rotary dial has been replaced with a black knob of unknown purpose. Here. The phone weighs blah. Even that's classified? The object allows the director to communicate with the board. If used by anyone other than the director, the object will cause lethal. Hmm. See Dr. Darling presentation. The object is currently bound to Director Trench, which is not true anymore. The object spontaneously manifested in the Director's office, placed on the desk. Director Northmore was the first known Bureau agent to use it. A battery of tests were run on the object, including blah and blah, but its origins remain unknown. Also, Northmore was a director too. We read about him earlier, back in a different note. The merry-go-around horse. Object should be kept in a confined space when unbound. A fiberglass horse once used as a seat for a merry-go-around ride. The pole is still connected to the object. The object is capable of moving short distances at high speeds. This can be quite dangerous when blah its path. The object is currently bound by... Me. The object was discovered at the site of an abandoned amusement park. Local... People, neighbors, reported that the rides would move on their own and that they would be chased out. When these rumors reached the Bureau, See America Overnight Episode 235. 
the radio, agents were dispatched to investigate. Three local blah were found dead at the scene. The object attacked Agent Blah by Blah. Agents invoked Formula C5 to ooh uh, the object long enough to ooh. Uh. God, we've only been here for like an hour, and we've already come across four different objects. Do we have a sense for the scale of how many objects there are in this place? The hotline. Trench. Oh. Oh, so it's the previous it ones, right? Long time to learn how to stabilize the control points, the ley lines, the meridians of the oldest house. Darling found a way to soothe this beast. We discovered we must cleanse control points of all interference. I think we've seen this before. It's my duty as the director, like Northmore before me. I couldn't manage it in my own house, at my home. I'll damn well do it here. Without the control points, the oldest house would swallow us alive. We'd be sealed inside an endless labyrinth. And no one would hear our screams. If an enemy ever managed to corrupt the control points, it'd be over fast, spreading like a cancer, leaping over the fire breaks like a crown of fire. They are the weak point. Darling's right about that. He's wrong about everything else. Dangerously wrong. Suspiciously wrong. Has he been compromised? We know that something is going on with Darling because he gave everybody, or not everybody, but some people, the HRA, right before things went wrong. And we haven't seen this before, right? I thought we had, but we haven't. Northmore. North Moore was director before me. I never wanted his job. I never wanted power. I purposefully avoided it. Didn't trust it. Didn't want to rely on it. North Moore was all about power. A man like an explosion, hungry for authority, for order, for more. Until it was too much. I had to find a solution in the end, contain the situation. Northmore never liked me, but he went along with it, to his credit. He didn't really have a choice. I suppose at the end of the day, a director's most basic duty is to keep the lights on. Here's to you, Northmore. There were no prime candidates waiting in the wings, but I was there. Had been the whole time, keeping my head down, working my ass off. I had nothing to lose. I picked up the gun almost on a dare. Is being the director even something that people want? When you think of a normal company, you know, you want to work your way up the ladder, become a manager, become a VP, become the CEO, but do you want to be the director here? Especially since it comes with a threat of death. Okay, so it seems like there's some nice information here. I'm not gonna go through all of them right now, but we'll come back from time to time. Maybe every time we go back to Emily or something. Cool, cool, lots of information here. We've already heard all of these ones. All right. There's so much to read. I love reading all of it, but sometimes it feels like we walk two steps and there's something to read again. <laughs> Attention maintenance staff. An object of power escaped the Panopticon a couple of weeks ago, and they want everyone to keep an eye out for it. So if anyone sees a merry-go-around horse zipping around the sector, alert me immediately. Do not try to contain it on your own, and definitely don't bind yourself to it. Your security chief, Simon Arish. Ah, so binding is something that anybody can do. They would pretty much have to go through the thing I did. Go to the astral plane and complete the challenge. Oh, somebody's here. Hello? Dangerous out here, lady. Go see Chief Arish. He's just inside. He'll help you. Arish. 
Simon Arish, our security chief. Looks like news hasn't made it over here yet. That... we got a new director? Ma'am! Hey! Chief Arish, FPC security. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Shouldn't you? They all have HRAs. We're on the same side. My name is Jesse Faden. I'm here to perform the directorial override to get the lockdown lifted. Yeah, yeah. Chief Arish, FBC Security. I'm just... Oh, hang on. You're the new director. <laughs> um, it's a pleasure, ma'am. Let's skip the formalities, please. Right. <laughs> Faden, ma'am. Jesse is fine. Look, as you can probably tell, uh, it's a bit of a shit show down here. We've been holding our ground, but whatever's gotten into our buddies has them wrecking the coolant pumps and the power converters. The NSC keeps overheating, and... My crews keep getting shot before they have a chance to make any repairs. NSC? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Bureau jargon. It's what we call the power plant. You know, the uh, big rumbling metal thing? <laughs> uh, Salvador, head of security, asked me to protect it in case of an attack. See, what's inside is dangerous. The Dr. Darling seemed to know it would be a target. Darling? He's here? No, he came down a few days ago, before everything went to hell. He was out of it. it smelled like a bar mat. He was ranting about vulnerabilities and how he only had one large-scale HRA, but that he needed it somewhere else. Still, at least he gave us these personal HRAs before he left. Hey, did I mention that he was tearing his clothes off? <laughs> wow. Crazy dude. Darling knew the hiss was coming. Listen, I love playing 20 questions as much as the next guy, but we have got to get the water and electrical systems repaired before this baby blows. I'll have my guys unlock the doors out of here for you. I'll take care of it. You stay and keep the hiss away from the plant if you can. The hiss? That's what we're calling him? Well, that's catchy. Oh, listen, the radios aren't working, so if you find my boss Salvador out there, could you please ask him what the plan is? I'm sure he will have one by now. I'll keep an eye out for him. He sure has a lot of faith in his boss. Try to stay alive. I wonder if it's the first time something like this has happened. Online? She knows. She knows. I just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Would you like to come with me and help me out? I'd appreciate it. When the converters and coolant pumps are working again, we should be able to get this baby back down to a safe temperature. I hope. That sounds like something we should be prioritizing. What do you know about the hiss? Not much. Only what I've seen. Well, they use the same tactics that Marshall and Salvador taught us, which makes me think that the Hiss haven't completely erased the people inside, which is a pretty fucking horrible thought. Uh. Or they're just using whatever they find in their victims' heads. In any case, they are really eager to get inside the power plant. Why do you think that is? Shit, I don't know. They want to make my life harder? I'm not sure if it's a comfort to know that the people might still be inside, or that we're killing them. What do you do here, Arish? Security chief of the maintenance sector. I make sure all the weird shit down here doesn't bother the maintenance crews. Learned everything I know from Salvador. The best security agent this bureau has ever seen. And you like your job? I love it. You know, everyone thinks that maintenance is the lowest rung on the ladder just because we fix pipes instead of writing memos, but I gotta be honest. These are the bravest people in the goddamn building. I'm proud to work with them. I've done a few odd jobs with these kind of folks. They say what they mean. I like that. Cool. What you see is what you get. What exactly is the power plant? Listen, I only know what Salvador told me, but I know it generates all the electricity for the Bureau, and it's got two very simple rules. Rule one, keep it below a certain temperature. Rule two, don't ever, ever open it. Oh, and three, uh, it's classified, so I shouldn't ask. Sounds like secrets are standard operating procedure around here. Oh, yeah. It's all part of the job. What do you know about the service weapon? Not much. That thing is director only. Salvador told me by the time he saw Trench use it. Sounds like that gun can do some serious damage. Yeah, I did see pictures of it once, though, and uh, it looks different to that thing you're carrying. You monitor something? It's new. Is new a good thing? Given the circumstances, I'd say new is our best bet. Maybe it looks a little bit different, you know, according to director preferences and all. Do you know this Ati guy? <laughs> of course. He's my favorite coffee break buddy. 
dude has got some crazy stories. And he probably knows more than anyone else around here, if you can make sense of what he's saying. Any idea where he's from? I'm guessing Sweden. Uh, he's from where he's from. Look, there are just some stones that are better left unturned, you know? Look, okay, it's not a given that he's from this plane. I should be going. Right. You got a lockdown to lift. Yeah, I'll be back. You wanna come with me, buddy? You were saying something? Now, right before we entered the building here, I saw... Yeah. What's that all about? Is something outside? Oh? Now? Oh man, Adi is gonna be so pissed. Hey Simon, I got your message. Yeah, if someone in the sector is asking about Ate, just tell him you'll handle it and leave it at that. Under no circumstances should any personnel intervene with his day-to-day -day routine. I told you everything I know about him, so you could better deal with his odd habits, but yes, it's still very much a classified matter. Also, I saw your report about the quarry worker who wandered into the foundation. Detaining him was the right move. We'll figure out what he saw before we decide on the next steps. Cheers, Lynn. P.S. In case you hadn't noticed, something is up between Trench and Darling. I know this isn't your strong suit, but try your best to stay out of it. And this is from Salvador. Hmm. We know from the hotline just now that Trench seems to suspect that Darling knows more than what he's letting on. Which is a pretty fair assumption, judging by everything we've heard from everybody so far. Mm -hmm. Wait. Oh, three ability points. Cool. Should I get more health? <sighs> I think we're okay for now. Maybe let's focus on... What is energy? I don't know what- oh! I accidentally got energy just now. <laughs> That's okay. Melee damage, not something I use often, but 25% launch damage. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Cool. Whoa! How come this unlocked so much more? But we don't get access to it yet. Alright, fine. Fine, fine. Do I have more here? Not for now. How's my board countermeasure doing? Killed 15 people so far? Alright. I thought this wasn't cleansed because the place is still red here. But it's just because the place is kind of on lockdown right now. Just having a look around. The coolant pumps, furnace chamber, both places that we have to get to for different missions. Oh, I see the sign for the coolant pumps. Oh lord! Okay, a lot was going on there just now. That didn't seem like a normal person. Whoa, shoot! Holy God! Are they all exploding on me or... This is new? They definitely seem to explode. This ain't good. If we can get them all exploding in one clump. His charged. My god. The his charged agents are examples of extreme physical deformation, resulting from his corruption. His charged display an unthinking fixation on any non corrupted individuals in the area. Once within a specific proximity, they erupt into a burst of focused his resonance, so dense that it acts as a physical force. The his charge is depleted of the his corruption after this eruption. The host is left lifeless. This behavior may be an adaptive response to the HRAs. The his charged are designed to blow the devices off potential hosts, exposing them to the resonance, 
Is the his capable of customizing a corrupted host's altered ability to this degree? Why is the physiology of the his charged so dramatically different from the host's original form? Lots of questions, no answers. <gasps> They're adapting. They're adapting to what we're doing. That's really not so reassuring to hear. Means they're smart. They might give off the impression that they're not so smart. Because you might associate them with unthinking zombies or something, but that's definitely not the case. This weapon mod has a color. It's a level 2 mod. Projectiles spread minus 12%. No, I think we're okay for now. Ooh. Power cut. Replace the parts. Can we kill the people first? They can't come over here, right? Whoa! Fool me twice. You want me to just put it here? Yeah. Woo! I don't really want to commit to going inside. Are we all good? Oh lord. It's the exploding ones again. Whether or not you kill them, if they get close enough to you, they start exploding. That's something really important to note. Big mod here. Ammo refund. Ammo refund? Ammo refund chance on hit. No, I think we're okay for now. But we can see here that there's other forms of this gun called spin and grip. Cool. Are we all good here? Thank you. And there is a way to the coolant pumps. Only I can do this, huh? Oh, there is a furnace chamber, too. This is where we want to do the other mission? Burn the trash around the furnace. Okay, well, right here anyway. Maybe we'll see if this is easy. What the heck? Is this trash? It seems kind of nuclear. So far, no one's here. My name is Dr. Pierce, lead researcher of the Parakinesiology Department. I believe that I've discovered a code Omega paranatural entity residing within the Bureau itself, right under our noses. Darling refused to allocate me the budget or resources, so, so I'm taking matters into my own hands. Let this recording be the proof I need to convince them. The furnace can speak. It's been talking to me for some time now. Listen. Did you hear that? No. It's a force capable of communicating. I checked and, and there's no record of, of ever installing this furnace. I believe that... Oh, oh sorry. What? Yes, I can feed you. Uh, what do you eat? I see. Uh, I'll try to find some volunteers. <laughs> With this kind of place, it's often hard to tell if people are going crazy or what they're saying is actually true. 
There's a dang furnace. It's really hot in here. Did you want me to take these barrels? Fine. Crash. Did Ati mean barrels full of hazardous biological material? It seems like I'm breaking some environmental regulations on waste disposal, but if that's what Ati wants, then I'll get it done. What Ati wants, Ati gets. Can we do it from this far away? <laughs> I don't know if that worked. But I'm kind of lazy to walk, so. Doesn't seem. Ooh! Oh my god, I don't know what happened. But I'm so glad this didn't explode. <laughs> Are we good here? Now, where did the other one go? It kind of bounced off. Right here. Were there more? Down below here? Yup. They glow, but still kind of a pain in the butt trying to get them all over there. We'll just throw them all over there for now. Which is probably not how you should be handling nuclear waste, so don't try this at home, kids. Mail tube complaint. Hey, Bozer, get this. The accounting department still says they haven't received my expense reports. They say the receipts probably got lost in the mail tubes because of a shift or a threshold or some such fuckery, and that if I don't have the originals, they can't verify my expenses for reimbursement. This is such bullshit. Why do we even use these fucking tubes if they just spit our mail out in some other goddamn dimension? Just venting here before I make a formal complaint. Useless pieces of shit. Rodriguez again. <laughs> Well, sometimes we get mail being lost in other places, but mail being lost in a different dimension. Can't say I've had that happen to me before. <laughs> Are the tubes still here? Shoot. I might have flung them too far away. Now I don't know where they are anymore. <laughs> There's one there. No, 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 no. Don't hit the tube. Yeah. That's all of them. Oh, earlier when I flung them up, it actually went directly into the furnace. Cool. But what's this? Ah! Couldn't quite make it. Maybe if I tried again? How do I get up there anyway? Hold on. If only I could levitate myself, but I can't. Hey! Oh no! <laughs> Not like this? Okay, fine. Alright. Back to the coolant pumps then. And the energy converters. We've got multiple tasks here. Ooh. I don't like that sound. This place is very safe. Oh! <laughs> Levitation really helps, actually. go. There we go. Feel like I'm finally starting to get the hang of the combat here. Now it's getting really fun. Alright, we're here. Bro, bro. Go to shift. Fix it fast. If the plan goes boom, 
we can throw the spoon in the coal. How are you talking to me? I'm just wondering, like, how are you talking to me like this? If this was normal, I might be inclined to think that's some sort of, like, a memory flashback thing, but this janitor guy is pretty otherworldly. Clog complaint. That gross blockage down in the water systems is back. What the fuck is it? And where does it keep coming from? And why the hell does Adi keep yelling nonsense at it? He acts like it can understand him. Of course, he acts like we can understand him too. Guess that's just his brand of crazy. I'm gonna try out a new drain cleaner, Extreme Strength. Well, I think he was mumbling about this before. The clogs. I'm guessing it's the same deal as before, where we get this energy thing. But where did you want me to put it? Somewhere? Can I put this down without throwing it, by the way? I'm actually not sure. <laughs> oh. The pumps are here. Uh, do you want me to go further down? There is no further down. This is it. How exactly do you want me to fix this? Elevator. Oh, here? There we go. Oh, God. We can't let the guys get close to me. Next to me? No. Whew. We're good. But this is still here. Pump number one is good now. So all we gotta do is fix pump number two. Is it the one over here? Yeah? Ugh. Weird stuff on the ground here. My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. We caught him caught with his hand in the fist trap. Get rid of him. Oh god, what the hell is going on over there? How about let's fix this pump first? Can we? No. Shit. What now? Yeah. My old enemy, the clock, is blocking the pipes. You need to deal with that shit. He is very clever. He is trying to sneak in. He caught him caught with his hand in the fist. Is it okay that we just shoot him? thing I've ever seen. Ugh. But it is shrinking. It's leaving. No wonder Ozzy was talking to it. Oh god. Okay. Do you want me to explore? Look around? Oh lord. This is nasty. 
nasty. They look like gigantic pimples or something. Ugh, you need to go get a skincare routine going on, my dude. Don't touch that. If we shoot all of them, will they all leave eventually? That's the hope. Oh. Well, it's kind of gone. It's leaving for good now. Okay. Does that mean the pipe has been cleared? All we gotta do is go back and check. Thank you. Oh. We need to hurry. Yeah. That's the sound of the place breaking apart. We cool? This is pump number three. There's a second one around here. Hold on. Oh, I probably gotta find a way to get back upstairs first. Hold on. All this time, there's some hiss just been floating around upstairs. The second one... It's not here. Oh. Right at the very end here. There go the pipes. Nothing more satisfying than manual labor. We all good? Whoa, 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 whoa. I feel like because of the exploding guys, I gotta constantly look around behind me. Cause I'm so scared, they'll be right behind me when I'm not paying attention. There you are! Woo! Are we all happy? Now we gotta go fix the energy converters. Oh. Somebody is coming. Oh god! Hold on. We gotta levitate or something here. Whoa! Where is he? Where'd he go? There! Oh, he's coming up here! This isn't good! If these rocks aren't doing much damage, we gotta find, like, actual things. Oh, we should move. Remember headshots. Oh! Scary, scary. How about this thing? Where's your head? Oh! Ooh! 
His trooper. Troopers are meant to be the first agents to enter unknown AWEs, thresholds, or any other paranaturally hazardous situation. They are heavily armored and heavily armed in preparation for the worst. As a result of the role, his troopers have access to the heaviest armor and weaponry from the Bureau's armory, including military-grade chain guns and grenade launchers. In addition to their already formidable FPC-issued armor, the his resonance surrounding these entities is dense enough to stop bullets. If forced to engage one of these, be sure to make use of any available cover. Also note that, to the telekinetically talented, enemy grenades can be a welcome source of ammunition. Ah, but there's definitely some risk in that because you're trying to throw back a live grenade, which is kind of dangerous. I'm pretty sure this guy coming out of the elevator was a sign for me to go to the elevator though. So if we can get going... Dodge efficiency. Evade energy cost. Ah, because evading costs energy too. Oh, okay, so energy is the overall energy I have. And evade energy cost is referring to the specific costs associated with certain skills. Ah, I see, I see. I kept thinking stuff like evade energy and launch energy were a thing, but it's actually trying to say the cost of evading, the cost of launching. Okay. 